Hello and uh, welcome to Channel UTM. This is a tutorial based research channel um, where I show you um, the research in action, I show you the results um, and basically uh, showing you how you can do this yourself. Uh, it's very simple, uh, there's plenty of um, vids now, there's tutorials as well so um, if you're into knowing um, about these things uh, for yourself uh, where it's the best way to do it um, and uh, I'm here to show you how basically so um, let's get on with it all uh, right okay let's okay we're looking at uh, Triton again um, this is part two I think um, this is the one we, we looked at previously um, just so as if you want to go and have a look at it um, then uh, yeah it's very interesting um, hope you enjoyed that one um, but what we're looking at today is uh, this image um, so I'm just going to flip through a few things and um, I'm just going to say save <coughs> not save but uh, pause and view um, so it's just a little bit of information about, there's tons of information about this place. Um, so do have a read. Um, this is probably all saying the same stuff as the previous one. Um, but Wiki is always really good because you can click on, you know, what is a retro retrograde orbit? I don't know, but you can click on that and uh, go and have a look. So this one, oh yes, and it's uh, Voyager 2, um, and uh, this, when I first looked at this uh, image, I didn't really expect to get too much out of it, but uh, yet again, it was, uh, it's very revealing, um, but you got to persevere a bit with this one, it's quite, um, it's quite difficult to pull the, not difficult, just time consuming. It just takes a lot longer on, on this sort of image. Yeah, it's reminiscent of the um, Venus and uh, Europa, I think. Uh, it might have been the same mission, um, but there's no there's no reference to the the type of um, uh, photography that was used. I think on Venus, it's uh, or Europa, it was a radio scoff it it's like a radar type sort of thing um but it looks very similar so um let's have a look so you can see i've i've uh, put some um color into it um and with using the tools like a like i've uh, explained before um, it does push and pull the saturation so you get different colors and stuff but it's it's um a bit more pleasing than black and white and it, it's working all right in color so we'll just go for it um hold on computer stuff oh, there we go right okie doke right um i think what to do is just uh <clears throat> have a look around and um this is one of those images which is just um uh, it's quite difficult to get your head around because the the density of these um, structures are phenomenal. I mean, it's just all over the place. Um, and uh, it takes a while to adjust to the image. It's like um, I always say, um, you're going to have to pause it and view it. You know, just concentrate on an area and then just... Um, follow it through um, and uh, see see what you can uh, get out of the image uh, it's at various states of um, completion and stuff so we'll have a look around um, and then I'll do do a few bits if I spot anything cool well it's it's all cool um, you've got to remember the three dimensions of this stuff the um, the shadows and stuff it's um, there's a bit of um, perspective on this, so we can uh, 
it's plain and simple the light areas are the, the highest points and the dark areas are the lowest points um, but with this type of research what I do anyway um, I can pull a lot of things out of the image um, which are not necessarily um, they're not necessarily all on the same level I just like to bring out all the information in the image so you lose the the um, the, the height of the typography of sorts um, so you have to bear that in mind as well but um, there's so much to see then uh, you've just uh, you've just got to go for it for and for the untrained I mean people who have been following this and stuff now they'll probably be getting quite used to looking at these images um, and the familiar familiarity um with some of the the structures and forms that we're uh, we're seeing so you can see the different levels of completion here These lines here, if you can see them, it's something I explain in the uh, in the uh, previous videos about um, the exposure level of the the tools that we use, um, and just to be a little bit careful because uh, you can get lots of striping and lines everywhere. So you can see in this area here where I was a bit sloppy um, and didn't redo it again so um, if you do notice that then that's that was me with my the brushwork of sorts um, what settings are we on okay so yeah it's a good place to start um, as you can see this structure here um, sort of speaks for itself really just give you a different zoom level the reason I do that is well because um, I mean we all we all see differently and uh, some of the, some of the levels it's easier to make make stuff out so we'll go back in So, and like I've said before as well, I mean, you, you have to understand that we're re-editing an edited image. So, uh, it can be very difficult and this is what you end up with. A, they're all different. All the images are different. So, um, you have to approach them. It's the tools that um, denote what you're going to do anyway. You can see how they react and stuff. So... It's a case of just playing with it and seeing what seeing seeing what happens. So this is very blatant, obviously you can see. And the thing is with this stuff, it just continues. It goes on and on. Everything is connected to everything. And there is an idea of the scaling on this as well, which uh, I'll point out in a minute. I think there's rather really, uh, you can see uh, I this hasn't this has been done and this hasn't been done so I'm just going to pull out see where see where we're at these are just areas I, I, I pick out randomly when I'm when I'm starting to see what the uh, see what the photograph can give me another area as well where you can see the layout of stuff
this um, the right hand side of this image is it gets really quite messy over here as you can see and uh, we're losing a lot of uh, detail and stuff don't quite know why that is like that um, but you can't do much with this you can if it, it just takes a long long time to to work on okay so I said we we're gonna have a look around um, before I get carried away again again here you can see layout of stuff Keep your eye on this area here. I can't remember, I did a video recently and I was went to look at something that looked like a a tower of sorts. We can, we can see this. Um, and then I did some work on it and uh, it wasn't. It turned into something completely different. So, and that's the nature of these, these images. You know, you have to... You can't presume something um, before you've done the work on it. But this looks like a big uh, tower with a, a shiny top of sorts. This structure here. Now I'm just going to quickly go back to this image. Um, oops. And I think that's where we are. Here you can see, see this line running through. I think that is where we are now. And I've noticed in various pictures of stuff how they put um you know it's the the mosaic element you know when they stitch photographs together and i've been finding that some of this stitching is actually not stitching they've just played with it to make it look like a stitch and it's actually um it's quite a prominent feature of the the photograph just they've tried to I don't know, displace it slightly with, with the joins and stuff. Um, and this this is the area in question. And so you can see where it runs through here. And it becomes part of the image. It, it becomes uh, not what I just described. So that's something else to uh, bear in mind. So you always check the light areas, always check the dark areas, um, um, check the seams, um, and check anything that they point out as well. Because we've also been finding that they tend to draw your attention to something. Call it one thing, and uh, once you've done the research on it, uh, you find out it's completely something different. So, uh, it's just a simple way of um, hiding things in front of your face. So, uh, and 
and everyone's aware of that uh the way things are well, not everyone but uh it's a very old uh secrecy theory of sorts isn't it um if you want to hide hide uh, something you hide it in plain sight even though they edit it out of, out of the picture as well, you know, but um, that's one of those things. So we got down here quite quickly, haven't we? This is an area slowly, slowly coming to life. Now, if I'm right, I'm just gonna just gonna flip back to to here. You can see this line coming down here, and like you'll notice in the in the in the the main image I've been working on, you can't see these features anymore because we've pulled out the um, the uh, the buildings and stuff out of them. But it says, uh, where are we? The ridge in the center. Yeah, it's about 20 miles across, so straight away, um, it's, to get your head around this, it's, uh, it's quite incredible. If we just go up to here quickly, this is the, the Graben uh, 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 that they were talking about. Um, So you can see where it had this area in the middle. I need to point this out. So notice these. If I just quickly chuck some contrast in there, it'll make more sense. So there's this. Oh, that's something I was going to do. I was going to point it out on on the uh, this area here is. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see it on here. Uh, on the, it's it's around here somewhere on the other map. So if you refer to the other map, you'll see you'll see uh, that area which I've slightly worked on as well, if I remember rightly. Um, so, yeah, this area. So, just take into the, the, the account the, the shapes and stuff here. And you can still see the... those shapes which are in that other picture. So, it comes down in through here out through here but anyway like I was saying this is supposed to be 20 miles 20 miles so anyway let's get um, let's back down here sorry for the flitting around but it, it's good to it helps you um, your eye brain um, readjust constantly which is uh, something you'll get you'll get used to so this part of the image um, if you look in the other one um, is very bleached out and had a slightly different sort of uh, makeup to it which I'll, I'll, 
I'll explain now. It's so blatant. I've got a moon photograph which uh, may or may not be out before this one. Um, and they've tried to make it look like a sort of semi-damaged photograph, and it's just, it it it's comical the way they've done it, really. Um, and that's that's how they uh, value people. Um, to presume that it is a knackered photo um, is just uh, insulting. Um, but unfortunately, uh, people are, uh, well, will accept it. It's not acceptable. And this is quite an interesting area as well. You can see like the there are lots of sort of connecting connecting lines. Um, the thing is, the 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 less amount of work that the images had on, the the more blurred it will appear. Um, I've explained the the reasons why, and it's working with the tools. So basically, you're you're visually compressing the the shadows and the midtones and the highlights, which which um, will compress that blurred image, so you can get more information out of it. So yeah, this this area is looking slightly different. Shall I go across? a lot to look at so like I say something like this pause it and uh, just take it in it takes a few minutes for your eyes to adjust And what I mean with like when you lose the the sort of uh, undulations of the terrain is because I'm pulling this information out as well. So again, I've I've done this before, but um, <clears throat> so we've got a light area here. If I, I can simply just burn that area. And, and if you didn't know I'd done that, then it would be extremely similar to, to this. So this is, that's the sort of way you've got to, you got to think about this stuff. Um, there you go. The central area's got quite a Quite a linear look to well, vertical type sort of look on on the picture anyway. It's quite a lot of uh, lines in it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, if I can find it, there was an area where I was just pulling out some uh, some features. So hopefully, you know, there's less less for your mind to process, and you you might see these things a lot easier. Areas like this you, that jump out at you.
We seem to find things like this quite a lot where uh, it's circular looking, but it looks as if it's going down towards the ground or, or underground. Um, who knows? There is stuff in there. So this was like this. You can see where it's slowly been pulled out. Do this and uh, see this level here now. Depends what size you, your screen you've got to. If you've got a, a if you're using a phone, unfortunately, it's uh, it's going to be difficult. But it's uh, you can see the levels of construction. You know, you do, it's simple as like taking a high point and uh, following it. Once your eyes have adjusted. If I remember rightly, this is this is reasonably similar size to to our moon, and um, with some stuff I'm going to be showing you, um, the moon isn't too dissimilar to this in uh, a lot of areas. Or especially the um, the photographs I've been looking at. It's hard to believe, yeah, but um. Once you do do this for yourself, then um, I found myself, because, you know, I've been looking at this type of sort of stuff for a long, long time, read so many books, this, that and the other, you sort of, uh, it sort of wipes the slate clear and uh, you start afresh with a new set of uh, questions because uh, so much has been answered, you know, the point of fact, you know, is there life out there? Um, it's clearly obvious um, to me with the research that I've done. 
Um, because everything I'm featuring has, um, is saying what this image is saying. Um, so yeah, you, you end up with a completely different set of, uh, questions and, uh, there's so much information out there which is it's just not it's not worth it it's just confusing watch an interesting uh, documentary with a the whistleblower he was a uh, worked for the air force uh, investigating UFO stuff and um, he was just saying how wrong the, the UFO community has got it and 95% of the information is just second hand, third hand, fifth hand you know rubbish basically and uh Once you do this for yourself, then uh, you can uh, you can understand things like that. Pause and view. I keep saying, but I haven't checked this on the phone. I'm trying to do some bigger bits like this. So I don't know what people are going to be seeing. I did have a look at this image before I started <laughs> and meant to uh, highlight some uh, some areas that were quite interesting but it's if you spend long enough on the looking at the image then you'll see just let me try something I have to be careful not to hit the uh, area this area I 
it's like I say, I mean, you can see the design, you can see the uh, uh, the layout of this stuff. You know, it's it's purposeful. It's um, constructed. There's design behind it. So right, I need to get this right, or it's going to do a saving thing. Oh, I don't know. Reset. Close. Ah, okay. Right, so we were up here somewhere. Almost see like a like a, a grid layout here. In areas like this, you know, this looks like the high point. We come down, we come out, down again, down again. You can see the the way it lies. That's why I flipped it slightly because you're going to have to quit your neck to look at this one a little bit. I'm just going to do this, see where I'm at, see if I don't recognise anywhere. I don't know if you can see this line through here, but I think that's where the, the sort of planet curvature is, um, because this is what I've had a look at and it extends out so and you're still you're getting the same sort of uh, uh, look to so I believe you can see the difference in the quality you see this line here so I believe that's where the, the planet ends is there so I had a look notice this So that would be saying to us that this is in in space. It's not really saying a lot, but there are similarities, you know, which you'll get used to once you've been working on these images for a while. I don't know. It looks very different. This is this is the thing when you go back to images and stuff. Because once you've been working on these things, you know, a few hours straight, um, it's very easy to to notice the stuff. But it's uh, it's just the nature of the work. But there's definitely something going on there. I 
just trying to find this little area where I was just picking bits out for you. Let's just go. Let's just go there. So here, this, this looks like a part of the structure which is in shadow and this is the top, but it might not be. What I'm going to do here, just for your When I use this tool, then when I work back on it, the highlights and dodge, then you'll get this nice tint coming through. Should do it anyway. Like I was saying earlier, this you can see it's, it's going in. But you know how how uh, real these dark areas are. Real, I mean, in if they haven't been manipulated, like I showed you, uh, it, it's hard. It's hard to say. So it's possible that the the level I'm <clears throat> bringing all the information out to is not a more natural uh, interpretation of. But um, we simply don't know. So you know if that scaling is right this is like 20 miles i mean it's it's just beyond belief we have briefly looked at that you know like the the, the how some of the skate i can't remember in what video it was um and there's something with a comet that i've got and uh they give you a, a pixel count in relation to, to miles or whatever it is, and it's completely wrong. Um, so it, it's it's all relative to to the research, you know, to having a look at um, any scaling they give you and, and just checking it out briefly and just seeing where if you know if it's correct or not. Um, See, I, can, I bet you can't see that. This here. Yeah. 
and it's the same old story isn't it? Everything seems to be connected to everything. It's construction on a, uh, a beyond belief uh, level. You know, it's to say that the uh, the uh, methods they use are just completely beyond anything we've thought about. So, um, I'm sure I've missed tons of stuff. Um, I've shown you a few features. Um, but it's very difficult. Yeah, I mean, the whole image is a feature, so... Uh, And remember, I didn't even think I was going to get anything out of this. It was just a, it was a random image. There aren't, there weren't many uh, decent images of uh, Triton. So just gave it a go and uh, see what we've got. Go. Oh, well, I hope you could uh, see what I was talking about and uh, understood some of it. And uh, hopefully, it's enough to make you want to go and find this out for yourself. Um, any problems? Just give us a shout. It, it's uh, it's that simple. And uh, brilliant. Okay, thanks guys, and um, I will see you all soon.